Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. See in this example, we have a power series and we have to find domain of convergence. Okay, so for that, we need to find first radius of convergence. So the given power series, it is not in its standard form. So let us express it in a standard form. Then we will find a radius of convergence and using it, we will find domain of convergence. Okay, so let me write a given power series. We have what we have summation n running from 0 to infinity i z minus 1 divided by 3 plus 4 i whole rest to n. We know that i square is equal to minus 1. So let us replace this minus 1 by i square. So this is equal to summation n running from 0 to infinity. We can write here i z plus i square divided by 3 plus 4 i whole rest to n. See, from numerator, we, we can easily take i as a common factor, okay? So, let me do that. So, summation n running from 0 to infinity, I am taking i common. So, z plus i divided by 3 plus 4 i whole raised to n. See, whole raised to n, so we can take a separate, separate powers here. We can take power n to this bracket as well as i as well as for denominator also. So, let us do that. This is equal to summation n running from 0 to infinity, I am writing i upon 3 plus 4 i raised to n and z plus i raised to n. So now this power series in its standard form, let me write a standard form here, summation a n z minus z naught raised to n. So if you compare this power series with that one, you can easily see we have this bracket z plus i, we have the bracket z minus z naught there. That means z naught is equal to minus i getting since plus sign is there now actually in a standard form we have a minus sign so we supposed to adjust minus sign there z minus minus i so z naught is equal to minus i a n a n that means multiple of that bracket which is nothing but this one so let me write a n here which we have got here a n here what is our a n a n is i upon 3 plus 4 i raised to n okay so this is our n now we have to find radius of convergence it has two different formulas okay we can use the formula which we get from definition as well as the second formula we have r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod n upon n plus 1 but see here i am going to use the first formula which is which is let me write a formula here 1 upon r r means radius of convergence which is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod n raised to 1 by n. So can you guess why I am using this formula? Since our n has that power raised to n, okay, it has power raised to n and here we have a power raised to 1 by n. So yes, n and 1 by n will get cancelled to each other. So let me write, so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of, okay, so let us put that n here. So mod i upon 3 plus 4 i, see raised to n and raised to 1 by n will get cancelled to each other. We can take separate separate mod. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of. So let me write here mod uh, 0 plus i real part is not there mod 3 plus 4 i. This is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of. You know well how to take a mod how to find a value of mod square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part square root of square of real part zero square of imaginary part is one imaginary part that means multiple of i multiple of i is one so that's why square will be one let us do the same thing in denominator square of three is nine square of four is 16. actually we are getting constant so no need to take supremum and limit since we will have the same values so this is equal to, let me simply write here, its value will be 1, value of numerator will be 1. What about denominator 9 plus 16, 25 and root of 25 is 5. So 1 upon r is 1 by 5, so obviously r is equal to 5. So our radius of convergence is 5. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. So I have written here 1 upon r is equal to 1 by 5 we have got. So therefore, r is equal to 5 radius of convergence is 5 so now the question is find domain of convergence let me write here then 
डोमेन ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेंस ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेंस इज स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इज मॉड जेड माइनस जेड नॉट लेस देन आर दैट इज बट सी इन अवर सीरीज ऑलरेडी वी हैव सिंप्लीफाइड दिस सीरीज एंड देर वी हैव गॉट जेड प्लस आई रेस टू एन सो ऑब्वियसली आई शूड टेक हियर मॉड जेड प्लस आई लेस देन अवर रेडियस ऑफ कॉन्वर्जेंस इज फाइव सो दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव सो एक्चुअली दिस इज अ सर्कल इंटेरियर पार्ट ऑफ अ सर्कल आई शूड से सिंस वी हैव स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन सो इट इज अ इंटेरियर पार्ट ऑफ अ सर्कल सो यस विच सेंटर इट सेंटर विल बी माइनस आई Since the standard form, let me mention here standard form z minus z naught is equal to r. If you have a circle like this, its center is z naught, and radius is r. Okay, radius is r. So here actually minus sign we expect there we have a plus sign, but don't uh, don't worry we can easily adjust minus sign minus minus plus. So that's why I wrote minus i, which is equal to zero comma minus one. Let us talk about radius. So radius anyone can easily say it's five, but see I will repeat if you have equality then you can say it is a circle, but if you have less than uh, that right hand side then it represents the interior part of a circle. So it's a interior part of a circle. Let me draw here. I will draw a rough sketch here. Okay, with center zero comma minus one, zero comma minus one will be here, right? Zero comma minus one and radius will be five. So yes, let me draw a rough sketch here. Radius is five. Will be like this. Okay. So a circle will be like this. So this is a circle we have got. Okay. It's not looking exactly circle. Okay. Let me correct it. So yes, now it is looking like a circle. But see, it's the interior part of a circle. So I should show it in this way, since we have strictly less than. Okay. Strictly less than. So this is a. Domain of uh, domain of convergence of given power series. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.